here what you got going on here hey besties welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl jada simone and you're watching jada's channel i don't love just anyone i am not just anyone i rock heels i rock jordans and i wear wigs and rock my natural can you believe it says i'm pretty but with dark skin Besties, I am super excited for today's video. We got another package, and this time it's from Sephora. It is the new Sol de Janeiro Summer Body Mist. Now, if you guys know and are following me on TikTok, then you know that I got the body mist last summer, and I really did enjoy them. So these were the three from last summer. So they are in the Sense Tropical Nights. Sea and Soul and Tan Lines. And honestly, truly, these were really, really great for last summer. So I'm glad that they came out with more for this summer. These are definitely still in my rotation for summer and definitely still on my summer perfume tray. But I'm glad to be potentially introducing some new sprays to my perfume tray. So let's smell these. I have not smelled the new ones yet. I have not watched any videos yet purposely because I wanted to try them with you guys, give you guys my raw and honest opinion. So if you guys would like to know my honest opinion on how the new Sol de Janeiro summer body mist smell, just keep on watching. So I did do a little unboxing on my TikTok. So make sure you guys are following me on TikTok because I do tons of unboxings on there for all the stuff that I spend my money on. It's low-key terrible, but it's low-key entertaining for you guys. So I definitely recommend you go follow. But nonetheless, let's get into this review. So I did get all these fragrances from Sephora.com. Now if you did not know, these did release a day early on the Sephora app. So I was able to purchase a day early. They did release May 2nd. So I got mine on May May 1st and all of these fragrances retail for $24 so here are the sprays straight out of the box I just took them out the plastic for the little unboxing so let's get to smelling so this first one is pink it's really cute it's a really cute pink and it is in the scent when in Rio so on the front it just says wild bergamot and vanilla amber I feel like this is going to be a nice fruity vanilla so let's try. Let's spray it, y'all. Let's see how it's going to smell. Let's see. And then let's let it dry. Already, this smells really good. Like, mmm. Like, nothing that I've ever smelled before. It's giving a little tropical. You definitely get the vanilla. The vanilla makes it so creamy and sweet. I'm really loving this scent so far. It's very girly, very pretty, like very woman. You smell this scent, you definitely get woman. I definitely feel like you can wear it in the daytime and it will do a great transition into the night. Just the way this smells. Mm, oh my goodness. Yo, this just smells so pretty. Like, pretty. Like, okay, so let's see what the bag says. So it says, this daring, delicious scent inspires the no rule side of you with a brush of notes like vanilla amber, twilight jasmine, luscious pear, and sandalwood. Anything can happen in Rio. Hmm. You do get the fruitiness. It's interesting that there's pear in this because you do get a little fruitiness, especially with the bergamot. The bergamot gives it that citrusy twist. The vanilla, y'all. Oh, the vanilla amber is just the star of the show. It definitely makes it very warm. And I feel like that is what makes it able to transition into a nighttime scent or even into a warmer scent i feel like this scent can even go into fall time in my honest opinion on the sephora app the fragrance description just says a warm amber perfume mist that flirts with daring notes of wild bergamot luscious pear and twilight jasmine all the things that we've already discussed but all the things that are definitely making this scent just pop like y'all oh my goodness i did not think i would like this scent so much this might be top two not two out of my little sol de janeiro fragrance collection i don't know we gotta keep on smelling to see because mm. and i definitely will be putting up the results over here of the wear test so i will be trying on all these scents and letting you guys know an accurate wear test for my body chemistry but so far so good so de janeiro you guys are not letting me down yet so let's just keep on trying the other two fragrances so the next one is this pretty blue right here and it is called do not disturb so it just says mimosa flower and nude musks hmm 
let's see just by like the color of the bottle and the notes on the front i feel like this is going to be a nice fresh clean light scent so let's see let's spray it on this arm let it dry and see what it gives mm. y'all i'm getting ariana grande cloud from this i'm getting cloud and a lot of people say that the Cherosa 68 i think this one right here a lot of people say that that one smells like ariana grande cloud so this is interesting that they made one so similar hmm I don't know let's let it dry down a little more and see how the dry down is because this right now is definitely smelling a lot like ariana grande cloud so if you're into cloud i feel like this might be a dupe but then they already have a dupe for Ari i don't know let's see so did you know what you got going on here okay so it's drying down and it's smelling still kind of like cloud like a hint like cloud but better i'm getting a hint of fresh clean laundry definitely the mimosa flower because it does smell very floral i'm definitely getting some vanilla vanilla is giving it a nice sweetness but it definitely is giving me like a fresh clean laundry scent so let's see what the back of the bottle says what the notes are giving that first day of vacay feeling and a sheer floral scent with notes of airy mimosa flower warm musk fresh linens and soft vanilla oh okay so there is fresh linen in this this smells like ariana grande cloud mixed with bath and body works laundry day like if you mix those two together and add a little vanilla that's what it's giving and honestly i'm not mad at it i definitely feel like this would be a perfect bedtime scent i like nice fresh soft and vanilla essence for bedtime because i like to smell fresh and sweet and clean so i definitely would wear this after like a nice long bubble bath after a long stressful day or even wearing this when i do like my weekend errands of like grocery shopping and stuff i feel like this is a perfect just clean girl scent i'm liking this i'm honestly liking this i'm not mad at this at all i definitely do see myself wearing this a lot i might put a huge dent into this i might have to get a second one i'm not gonna lie all right y'all we are down to the last one she is last but she is certainly not least let's hope and this is bikini season so it just says sunlit orchid and guava nectar now this one i saw a lot of people really excited about this one online and i'm excited about it too i'm pretty like 100% sure I don't have any guava based scents so I'm excited to see what this one is hitting for hopefully they do not disappoint so yeah let's see let's spray it hmm, let's spray it right here I kind of can smell it I kind of can smell it already like with that with that initial spray it kind of gave me like woof, guava so let's see let's let it dry down a little bit hmm I'm not gonna lie y'all I'm a little disappointed in this one like with the first initial spray it kind of hit me with the guava but then I don't smell the guava anymore and I don't know it could be because I just sprayed the other two scents on my arm so it's like a lot of scents in proximity to each other but like I'm literally smelling my arm right here and I'm getting like the slightest hints of the guava like the guava is not she's not the star of the show in this like she's not really she's not really giving me what I thought she was gonna give me for this to be a guava based scent I don't really smell the guava I was expecting it to smell like how those guava candies taste if you know you know them candies are bomb but this isn't really giving me it I feel like one of the other notes in this is coconut because I feel like I'm kind of picking that up a little bit I feel like maybe everything else in it is really overpowering the guava but I really do wish the guava really would have pushed through the way I expected it to so let's just read the back and see what all else is in this scent so it just says a burst of sunshine warmth on skin lounging poolside peak summer energy is here with this juicy scent spiked with notes of guava nectar coconut water okay pink musk and a twist of lemon hmm i don't know let's spray it into the cap oh let's spray it into the cap and see what it's giving because right now on my skin it's just not giving like I'm getting the musk on my skin I feel like I'm getting the coconut water and I'm getting the hint of lemon but I'm not getting the guava that much at all and I'm like I'm not happy about it okay in the cap I kind of do smell the guava a little bit more hmm 
it, this scent is just so faint i low-key was expecting this to be more light and faint than this like i don't know i'm a little disappointed y'all hmm. i'm definitely going to continue to wear this one and see how the longevity and the performance is so i definitely will put an update on my tiktok just about what i think of this scent and if the scent did progress on me right now i'm really not feeling it but i really wanted to feel it oh wait y'all like i smell the guava in here it smells like guava candy in the cap like Okay, maybe because of all the scents on my body right now, it's just not giving. We are going to take a nice shower. Tomorrow, we're going to start again. And we're going to see how this does. And like I said, on TikTok, I will be updating you guys on everything about these scents. But so far, this is number three. Like, she's not my favorite. I'm a little disappointed in her. So guys, on a scale of one, two, three, I will be rating these in order. So first things first, number one is this beauty right here when in Rio. Now, I might be a little biased because I am a lover of pink, but no, this scent really eats. So de Janeiro, y'all did y'all big one with this scent. So I'm definitely loving her. She is top two, not two. Next is Do Not Disturb. She is just clean. She just gives clean girl. I'm just enjoying her. I know this is going to be an amazing bedtime scent. And honestly, I love my bedtime scents just as much as I love my daytime scents. So I'm definitely going to be enjoying this and probably putting the big is dent into this bottle and sadly last <laughs> this is number three i'll definitely try to date this scent try to wear it throughout the week and see if it grows on me but right now i'm a little disappointed so i just wanted to give you guys that honest opinion all right besties so that is all for today's video go ahead and follow me on tiktok if you're not following me already so you will never ever ever miss any updates about what's going on if you guys went out and purchased these body mists let me know in the the comments down below let me know if you guys are loving them if you guys are hating them or if you're indifferent let me know how you guys like that bikini season <laughs> also let me know if you guys got the body mist from last summer how you guys like those because i definitely loved every single one of them but yeah y'all don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye